Yeah, in a world where timing is everything, what a great day to hit the beach. And just in time for the 4th of July, temperatures are up and the tides are low. Our friends from Seattle Aquarium have dispatched the naturalists. They're hitting the beach oh! for some of the lowest tides of the year. Yeah, one of the low tides of the summer. So today and tomorrow are pretty much the lowest that you can get. And so, so much of the beach gets exposed and it allows to see like lots of really cool beach critters. Oh my gosh! Oh, they're so beautiful and red. Yeah, he's fighting. So we're here at Golden Gardens, but the tide is low across all of Puget Sound. And at the aquarium, our beach naturalist program, we go to a bunch of different beaches, north, south, um, along the Puget Sound. So you can find beach naturalists wearing our like vests and hats at a ton of different beaches, kind of up and down um, greater Seattle area. As they dig underneath the sand, they like let out that jet propulsion of water. Oh, wow. oh. <laughs> Lots of things like crabs, fish, sea stars, sea anemones, sea cucumbers, uh, really cool sea slugs called nudibranchs, and so much more. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh spider crab, spider crab. Yeah, that's the right. crab. That's the cow crab. Back out at tomorrow, uh, that's the, actually the lowest tide is on 4th of July. It's a, a minus four, which means that it's four vertical feet of water lower than the average. And when you're on a really big spread out beach, four vertical feet is a lot. So it's a really low tide um, and we'll be out a bunch of different beaches, 4th of July and also two days after that. So seattleaquarium.org slash beach naturalist. It has the beaches that we'll be at. It has our schedule. It has the tides.